What is up guys, Jake here, and this is our next beginner's guide video, and it's going to be on uh, funneling in Rival Kingdoms. Now, again, a lot of my viewers come from a Clash of Clans background, so we'll be using some analogies there, uh, but you guys that might come across this video that are not uh, should still be able to help you out. Um, you know, directing your troops where you want them to go in a game like this is very important, and while this is different in the fact that, uh, you know, like in Clash of Clans, you have 200, let's say, troop space, and you might have, you know, 50, 60 different troops to deploy, uh, you, it's a much easier to create your funnel. But this is a good example on a base just like this. He's got trash buildings all around the outside here. Uh, so if we just drop our troops in there, let's say we drop, uh, you know, our... Our troops right in here uh, they're just going to take a walk you know they're going to go from this building to this building to this building now these wardens might stop and shoot in some but our paladins especially they're just going to work their way around the base so what we've got to do is break this trash ring uh, which is what we call it in clash of clans to direct them in there now there's a couple ways you can do that uh, one of the best ways if, if it's possible it's not always possible some of these might be in range but on a base like this is to use your ancient uh, your dragon not necessarily your ancient, but your dragon. So let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, on this one, I'm just going to drop my uh, dragon right here. I'm going to let him take this building out. If he moves to this building and stays out of range of this archer here, uh, I'm going to let him go ahead and take this building out. If he doesn't, I'm going to fly him over and I'm going to take out this building. Okay, that's doing a couple things. That's going to give me some uh, free mana from these troop portals, obviously. Uh, but it's also creating my funnel. I'm taking away, yeah, so he's getting hit right there, so let's move him over. I'm taking away uh, these outside buildings. So now, and I got one more. I got an extra one from the uh, from the storage there, the gold storage. Now as I drop these troops in, they're going to take out these outside buildings, but then look at how far the next building is. They're not going to walk all the way over here. They're going in, okay? So that is creating your funnel in, uh, sorry about that, guys. I should have stopped that. That's creating your funnel in rival kingdoms. It's Again, it's different than it is in, let's say, Clash of Clans. You've got limited troop space, but it's still something that you have to think about. It's something that you have to do. It can make the difference between you getting the, the successful attack or having, again, your troops just walk around the base and you failing and, you know, not getting that uh, that win in, in war or just not getting the loot in a farming raid. So we'll start to fast forward here. This one's over. Uh, but that's pretty much it. We'll do a couple more attacks. Hopefully we get a couple more good examples. Uh, I was unfortunately, God, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I was unfortunately uh, on the tail end of a, uh, I just lost my win streak, but still hopefully we'll get a couple good fights here. We'll go right back in, look for one more that we can illustrate this well, uh, how, it's pro how you properly do it. Uh, a lot of people are getting better and better base designs. Here you go. Here's a good one, too. This is fine. Uh, you're going to see a lot of bases like this. So what I would want to do on a base like this is come up basically from, I would come from the bottom, well, actually I'd probably come from the top. Especially this being a farming raid, my gold's up here. So I'd want to come from the top, and it actually makes it a little bit more difficult to, uh, to create my funnel. But again, same rules apply. You see right here basically is where I want to break it. I want to take this out. I'm going to fly my dragon across, take this one out. That's giving me that extra troop portal, and it's also helping me. Uh, create the start in the funnel creation. Okay, so what's going to happen then? I'm probably going to once this one goes down, I'll fly him up uh, to a space like this. Let him start working on that, and then I'll deploy my um, paladins and my wardens on this side. Let them work their way into here, and then there's going to be nowhere for them to go. They're going to have to go to the middle, uh, drop some some uh, protection on them, and let them work their way in. So let's go ahead and get this started. We'll drop. Uh, oh man, he's in range right there. I really thought he'd be right out of range. In fact, I think if I'm... Well, I'm going to let him finish that. I'm going to let him finish it off. He's, he's going to get it done before he dies. It's a lower level defense. And I think if I position him a little better on this other side, he might not go down. So let's see. Oh, he's going to get taken out. Oh, okay. Well, so we're going to have to do it a little bit differently. What I would do in a situation like this, this is a pretty big gap, and this building is going to pull things in. So what I'm going to do is drop some of my troops here, let them work around this way, and then I'll drop one of my wardens here. They might stray, but the bulk is going to go in this way. So that's a little bit of adjustment we have to make mid raid there. Now let's go ahead and get these down with a warden behind them. Let them start in. Here in just a moment, we'll give them some 
These guys might go straight in. We'll see. They're probably going to walk around. No, they're going to go ahead and go on in. Yeah, that's good to know. Once that wall gets broken, we'll be moving straight in. Not the best example of what we're talking about here, but, you know, again, that that those tr uh, troop portals being sort of out of range when I thought they were in range uh, pretty much changed things. And we're actually getting wrecked on this one. We'll see here if we go ahead and get the win, though. We got some... Yeah, we should be all right. It'll be closer than I want it to be. But once that uh, catapult goes down right there, we're in pretty good shape now. Uh, drop another shield on them. Let them take the stronghold out. And then once that goes down, we'll freeze everything. Let them work their way around the base. Uh, we're not going to freeze yet till they get down a little bit lower. Right there. And right there. We'll go ahead and freeze now. All right, guys. That's pretty much it for that one. Uh, again, not the best example because it didn't go really according to plan, but uh, they don't always go according to plan. We'll do one more, and we will wrap this thing up. Hopefully, we get another good example of how to funnel those troops in. But I think you guys get the idea, you know, especially you guys that came from a Clash of Clans background. It's just about breaking that trash ring. It's the same thing in this game. You just have fewer options, I suppose, to do it with, uh, as opposed to Clash of Clans when you can just drop a few wizards, and then you, the vast majority of your army is still there. Here, if we have to use a warden, that's a fourth of our army, basically. All right, last one here. Let's check it out. Come on, give us a good one. No money, 4,000. That's terrible. All right. But yeah, you know, a pretty good example. I would want to come in from the bottom on this. So what I'm going to do is take out this. I'll fly him over here. Let him start taking this out. And I'll send my paladins in right here. You know, they're going to, they're going to go. They're not going to make this long voyage, I don't think. Uh, from there, they should go up on this side. From there, they should head straight in. So that's what I want to do is get them in this big compartment where I can start freezing things using my dragon, uh, using my abilities there. So let's try it, see how it goes. I don't. I know there's nothing going to be in my way on this one. In fact, I might go ahead and let this take out that second uh, building that collector right there because that, that catapult obviously can't hurt me. Uh, we'll fly those a little slow on that. We'll fly it over, and then let's just get it going. I mean, we'll send it right in there. You know they're going to target it. A few of those paladins did stray, but once they get through uh, with that that altar there, I think they're going to reroute and head straight up in here. So let's see. Yep, they're just going to work on another wall, but no big deal. Here in just a moment, we might fly our dragon over just to freeze everything. Let's let us get a shield right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and fly it over just to give them a small break. Right there. And we will fly it back. Oop, we got taken out. Didn't have quite enough light. But there you go. You know, strongholds going down. We're about to have a freeze uh, to freeze the whole the whole place right here. Boom. Everything gets a moment to recover. Uh, take out a few extra buildings right there. So once those go down, we'll go ahead and drop a, a ice sentinel or whatever it's called. Not sentinel, but whatever it's called there. And that'll pretty much be that for this one. So right there. Took it all out, but you guys get the idea. Don't just drop your troops and expect them to, to go where you want them to. Direct them, even in this game, even with the limited troop space, direct them where you want to go. Create that funnel, and I think you're going to have better success. Hope you guys liked it. Until next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less.